what is going on everybody today i'm going to show you guys how to install brakes rotors and brand new calipers on my 2007 chevrolet silverado 2500 hd so next guys what i'll be doing is i'm gonna go ahead and just take off both tires together so we can uh, get to the rotors and the calipers <laughs> Check it out guys, that's how worn down that is, that is nuts. And it's just this side right here, the other side's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace rotors and pads on both ends here. I'm also gonna replace this caliper because it's uh, seen better days. Right when I lifted it up, it actually started seeping out a little bit of brake fluid from the piston. Let me show you. See that? That's not good, it's coming from the actual actual piston inside of the caliper so I'm gonna replace this whole unit right here I'm gonna have to I can't roll like that but it's worse than I really thought but hopefully we can all learn something on this one right here so I'm gonna replace the caliper I'm gonna replace the uh, rear drums as well as the uh, brake pads so for the rear rotors so let's go ahead and get to it right now okay guys so we're, this this is gonna come off in two parts you're gonna have your caliper and you're gonna have your, your actual bracket right here so we're gonna go ahead and take off the caliper first you're going to be using an 18 mil. I'm going to be using a breaker bar for this job right here because it's probably stuck. So once you guys take this thing off, it's going to be a slider pin sort of bolt system right here. You guys can simply just take this out just like that. Put that off to the side. So guys, listen, once you take off the 18 millimeter bolt from the bottom right here, um, you don't have to take this top bolt off. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just lift up like that and then just slide it right out. It's pretty simple. Yeah, this is really bad. I've never seen this before. So we gotta replace this caliper that has to happen. And then we'll go ahead and remove the uh, the actual bracket for the caliper. I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. Okay guys, so that'll be an 11 millimeter for that brake hose. <laughs> be prepared, got a little drip pan down here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that to the side right now. Now it will leak a little bit, but just to keep the pressure off of it for now. All right, so there she is, guys. I gotta replace that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oop. Guys, next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this bracket right here. It's gonna be two 18 millimeter bolts. There's gonna be one right here, and one right here, guys. As you can tell, I'm using a lot of brake bars and extensions because been on there for a long time there we go okay guys look how thin that is it's pretty bad uh this is going to be your emergency brake right here it's, it's always good to just check it inspect it make sure it's good to go since you're already in it but in my case i'm good um, normally these don't wear out because you're not really using your emergency emergency brake too much so um, that's what that's for and then we'll go ahead and just install the uh, the new rotor on there okay that'll do it for now until I put the new bracket and the new caliper back on there and brake pads we're gonna go ahead and do the other side now okay just take out that pin sometimes He's getting a little caught up, so just pry up on it. It's no big deal. Just pick it up, guys. Slide it over. Make sure you, that uh, you don't drop this caliper, guys, because you got that brake hose. We don't want to put any tension on that because it's going to cost you more money if you break it. So next, we're going to go ahead and uh, get that 18 mil. We're going to go ahead and take off this bolt and this bolt, just like on the other side. Um, and then we'll slide, uh, we'll take out these brake pads right here. There it is guys, these brake pads will slide right out, that one broke apart, <laughs> look at that, brake pad just fell right off the uh, metal, that's funny, but these slide right out, just like that, 
and then you're going to slide the new ones in. But um, if it doesn't, if they don't supply the actual uh, metal clips right here, you want to clean these up with brake cleaner, and you're going to want to lube these up right here because these can't these can't stick like that, guys. They got to slide freely. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one too while I'm at it since I already got this off but regardless guys you know one when one caliper goes out it's normally it's time to change out the other side okay so we're gonna install the new bracket and caliper which actually I have it I just picked it up right here and uh, I'm gonna be doing both sides so basically you know you're gonna have your bracket of course so guys usually when you're buying a brand new set of calipers uh, they're gonna come with the actual brackets and the uh, the hardware for them in the clips and all that so basically what you want to go ahead and do is install this it's pretty simple it's a clip just clip it on just like that just like this guys uh, you're gonna want to get some brake grease like that and what you're gonna want to go ahead and do you're gonna go ahead and lube up this slide right here, the sliding piece. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. But first we're gonna install the new uh, the new bracket. Okay, so don't forget to apply your brake grease or your caliper grease right here on these slides. So next we're gonna go ahead and install our new brake pads. And it's pretty simple, guys. You just it's just a straight clip in. These may get caught up, but just work with it. Just like that. So simply just clipping these these on here. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. Okay guys, so next we're going to go ahead and install the new caliper, which uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just, you know, you guys just put it back on, put your bolts on there and whatnot. But in my case, I'm putting new calipers on, which means that normally when you buy them new, uh, the pistons are actually sunk in already, so you don't have to push these in. So that's great, but for your, for, but for your example, guys, if you're installing new brake pads, new rotors, and you pull these old calipers off usually these are going to be extracted a little bit so you're not going to be able to just simply put these on okay so you got to sink these calipers back in or these these little pistons right here so this is how i do it um maybe a little unorthodox but it works for me so basically what, what i do is i always take out that old old brake pad okay so i put it right there now guys you can either use a c-clamp because what i'm doing is i'm, I'm sinking these back in but you guys can use a C-clamp, okay, to push that in. Or this is what I like to use. I usually just take one of these guys right here, like an old wood clamp, and uh, you know, I'm just basically pushing these pistons back, and that's all I'm doing. You want to do both sides, just like that, and then uh, you also want to push it in the center, just so they're nice and level because usually once you push one in, this side may pop out. So just uh, get, them, get them both level to where they're, they're as even as possible, okay? So that's how you're gonna sink those pistons in in order to get this caliper back on. But again, guys, this is a new caliper in my case. I don't need to do that. Just an example so I could show you guys. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and install this. I know I was telling you guys, uh, that you don't have to take the top off now that is just because if you guys are just doing brake pads you see what I'm doing you don't have to take the top off it makes it a lot easier so you can just pick that up move it out of the way install your new pads and then simply put this down the job you know, it, it cuts the job down quite a bit okay, just installing the brake hose
Now, guys, I'm on the other side right now, but one thing to note that's very important. Uh, these brake pads, they have to slide freely, okay, on both ends, just like that. Um, because if, if they get stuck, I mean, it could be a possibility to where you install these things, they're wedged in, they're not going anywhere when they retract, possibly uh, wear down your brake pads prematurely, as well as uh, gouge your rotors, and uh, I mean, heck, it could even it could even start a fire uh, because of the constant friction of it rubbing because it's stuck in one spot once the piston retracts. So it's very important, guys. Just make sure that, just test these brake, brake pads. Just make sure that they're actually uh, sliding, you know, of some sort. That way they're not stuck. So that's very important. So another thing to note once you're actually installing the brake pads and you got to push the piston back into the uh, cylinder, um, it's always a good idea to relieve the pressure off the master cylinder. Let me show you. So basically, guys, you want to go ahead and just crack the uh, the cap on the uh, the reservoir here on the master cylinder. Just crack it, just like that, and it'll be fine. Make sure you guys do that if you're pushing that piston back in. Guys, next you're gonna go ahead and uh, open your bleeder screw, just a little bit, and they're gonna have uh, someone in the cab. What they're gonna do go ahead and do is just pump the brakes until. Uh, until it starts to seep out and you just tighten it up. That's how you get the air the uh, air lines there. So this is a very important procedure. Make sure you do that. It's, con it's called bleeding the brakes. All right, push all the way down. And once you guys get that steady stream, go ahead and just tighten it up. All right, that's it. Thank you. Yep. Okay, guys, so just going on a little test drive. And I'll tell you what, the brakes are awesome. It stops perfect. But, you know, guys, hopefully this video was helpful if... Uh, there's any suggestions or any tricks or whatever that you guys do to change out your brakes leave them in the comments below it's gonna help somebody out that's why I posted this video uh, but you know guys other than that do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the content I appreciate your time and I will see you guys on the next one